Hey guys, it's Shake Light, and today we're doing a basic ability overview for Torbjorn. It's the 10th one of these that I've done, so I hope you're enjoying them. Please check out my other ones if you're finding them useful. Let's get to work. Torb's left click is Rivet Gun. This is a single shot projectile that arcs over long distances. You'll have to aim a bit higher over long range and lead your shots somewhat. The fire rate is slow, but the damage is decent. Rivet Gun's right click is a spread shot that fires 10 projectiles at once, most effective at short range. A close range headshot with this is going to do a lot of damage and one shot a lot of low health enemies. Torbjorn can deploy a 250 health turret in the direction he's facing which arcs with gravity. If you aim right you can land it on top of stuff. The turret will automatically detect and lock on to enemies and start fucking firing shots with 100% hitscan accuracy until that target is dead, out of line of sight, or the turret itself is destroyed or broken down by Torb himself for replacement. If the target LOS is the turret, it will automatically retarget another enemy. Damage per shot is relatively low, but it keeps firing non-stop and it can really add up over time. Torb's turret is not something you want to sit there and just face tank. Turret can cover outside lanes, alert you of flankers, and shoot long distances. I like to place my turret in one spot and then kind of play in a different area myself so that myself and my turret cannot be targeted simultaneously. Uh, turrets can be placed on moving platforms to make it somewhat mobile, but of course will make it more vulnerable by itself. Know this, people of the land. Your turret will change targets to match what you are shooting with your rivet gun. Oh my god, that was the worst example ever. There we go. There we go. Check it out. Check it out. Yup. Yup. Now back to the hog. Oh, it's beautiful! <clears throat> Moving on. Torb can press 2 to switch from his rivet gun to his forge hammer, which he can use to repair his turret or melee damage enemies. Forge hammer is different than Torb's typical melee when his rivet gun is out, which is like a claw type melee attack. Torbjorn's overload ability has him gain temporary overhealing, increased movement speed, rate of fire, and quickens reload time for the duration. Torb can fire 12 single shots over the 5 to 6 second duration. I say 5 to 6 because for the first second the overload animation is still occurring and you cannot yet fire. This is an improvement from the approximately 8 to 9 shots you could normally fire in that same time frame. Torbjorn's ultimate is Molten Core. Torbjorn gets a window of time to use 10 shots of molten slag goo lava stuff which arc through the air and land on the ground and create pools where they land. This will do big damage over time to any targets that stand in or pass through the lava. This may take some practice to get used to the arc over long distances. Each pool will last a good 10 seconds from the moment it lands. Try to spread it around as necessary to cover larger areas of ground because one pool does the same amount of damage as 10 pools stacked on top of each other. So it's better to try and cover large areas for the most part I would say. As you guys know if you watch my quick Symmetra overview, I personally love characters with turrets. It almost gives me this like pet or minion vibe that I have an automated friend or something that's looking out for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next basic ability overview. Shake lights out.